The mayor of Rochester has been indicted again. This time, they tagged Lovely Warren with a felony gun charge linked to the criminal case against her husband, Timothy Granison. That case involved a police search of her home in May in which officers found guns they call illegal. And now the Monroe County District Attorney is saying both Warren and her husband possessed those guns. Christian Garzone joining us live from City Hall with more on all of this. Christian. Well, Adam, this goes back to a search warrant at the mayor's home back in May. As you said, the mayor and her husband were charged with possession of a firearm, a Class E felony, and endangering the welfare of a child, a Class A misdemeanor, both of which, if found guilty, could involve prison. The indictment against the mayor and her husband was the result of a search warrant conducted by state police on May 19th, part of a larger investigation with the Greater Rochester Area Narcotics Enforcement Team. The warrant was the end of a months-long drug investigation ending in the arrest of several individuals, including Warren's husband, Timothy Granison, who has since pleaded not guilty to drug charges. When he was arrested, a search warrant was conducted at this residence where Police say he shares that home with wife Mayor Warren. A rifle and pistol were found in the home where Warren and Granison's 10 year old daughter was left alone. This is actually somewhat of a rare charge to see. Emily Fusco, an attorney with Trevette Christo, says the felony weapons possession charge likely refers to the handgun found in the home, and prosecutors will have to prove Warren and her husband both had dominion and control over it. The law only on the book, she says, since 2013. And in these types of cases, more than one person can actually be charged with possessing the same item. After Granison was arrested in May, the mayor said she had a separation agreement with her husband, adding all of this was politically motivated. She said in our News 8 mayoral debate she did not own any guns or drugs. I have since learned that the gun was registered to my mother-in-law. The, the facts and the truth is on our side. And I am looking forward to being found innocent because I did nothing wrong. Now both Warren and her husband are scheduled for an arraignment by a Cuga County judge in the near future right here in Monroe County. Live from City Hall, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam? Right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Mayor Warren was previously indicted on campaign finance violations. Warren did post a picture on Facebook tonight of her feet saying, quote, I walk by faith.